Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about PCOS and how I found out I had PCOS. I'm going to talk a little bit about my journey, how I brought my period back, how I was able to balance my hormones. So if you're interested, keep on watching. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, let's hop right into it. Please excuse the messy background. I'm in my gym. We're working out. We're being healthy. So if you suffer with PCOS, you may know that one of the main side effects of having PCOS is weight gain. So I partnered with Hume and we're going to talk a little bit about their scale and how beneficial it has been to me in my PCOS journey. So this is Hume Health's The Body Pod. This is probably one of the most amazing scales I've ever tried. So this scale is a body composition analyst. It breaks down your weight, BMI, muscle mass, bone mass, water weight, body fat percentage, and so much more. All you have to do is download the Hume Health app. Hume's AI will study your body habit, your body data, and provide actionable feedback to help you with your goals. It's so amazing because it scans your entire body and it gives you all the information you need to better your own health. This body analyzer is absolutely amazing. And it's actually the world's first body analyzer with eight frequency sensors to deliver precise weight, full body composition, and heart health. It has a medical grade accuracy of 98%. So two important things that I've been tracking is my muscle mass and my body fat. I love how it has this humanoid body frame that shows the muscle mass and the body fat. And by tracking this, it can explain your weight fluctuations. For instance, if you're gaining more muscle, so you'll see that reflected on the scale. So I love that. So unlike traditional scales, you don't have to give the number on the scale too much power because it could be like you're gaining muscle. It could be many reasons why the number is going up or down. They are currently having a 20% off sale on their website. And with my discount code, you'll get an extra 15% off. This offer is only available for seven days. And also amazing news, if you are in the U.S., it is also HSA and FSA eligible, so you can get it covered for free with your health insurance. So if you're interested, I will put all of the information down below in the description box. And thank you to Hume Health for partnering with me on today's video. So how did I find out that I had PCOS? So I had my suspicions. Um, PCOS, according to my OBGYN, is kind of difficult to diagnose. So I had my suspicions because I had a lot of the side effects. You know, I had heard about PCOS and I was just like, let me look into this because I have a regular period. You know, I'm super, super hairy. Um, I, I feel like it's something going on internally with my body. So I had done my own research before even talking to my OBGYN about my issues. And uh, that is when I was like, okay, let's you know, make an appointment. And so the first red flag for me was that my period would be very inconsistent. I would go like every 35 day, I would have 35 day cycles, I would have 21 day cycles. And it would just be like, very up and down instead of a normal 28 day cycles. And I did um, consult my OBGYN and I told her that was the main reason why I wanted to come in and ask her about um, if I had PCOS and if we can look more into it and she was like well actually you know it's still in the normal range to have periods between 21 days and 35 days so she was like I don't want to say that you have PCOS because most people with PCOS like can go months without having a period so I was like okay well you know, what about the other side effects? What about the fact that I'm, you know, super, super hairy? I'm growing like all this hair. I had to get laser hair removal because I was just hairy beyond, beyond. And laser is a great option as well. I'm going to tell you some more options um, if you suffer with that. But she was just like, yeah, I can't, I can't say that you have PCOS. <laughs> This is about three years ago and another reason why she said that I may not have PCOS because I wasn't really gaining any weight but there is a such thing as skinny PCOS so I was like maybe I just have that um but yeah she was basically just telling me that I don't think you have it. Fast forward to maybe like a year after that I saw another OB OBGYN because I changed um my insurance company so I had to get a new OBGYN and I talked to her about the same issues that I was having because it was actually getting kind of worse like I would go like 
40 days without a period or or 40 day cycles or um, um it would be months when i didn't get a period at all and that was very odd to me because i always got a period that was the main reason why my old OBGYN didn't want to say that i had pcos because i always got a period every single month so one month i went without a period and i was just like okay you know like i literally skipped a month it was 60 days it was a 60 day cycle and then the next month i had a 40 day cycle and then a month after that it was like a 28 day cycle so i'm just like okay maybe it's something going on like with my hormones that's making me miss my periods i don't know like i was just very concerned i did start to gain like a lot of weight one month i gained like 10 pounds in one month and that was very very uh diff different for me because you know normally i have been like the same weight since i was a teenager so like it was it was always very difficult for me to gain weight initially so when i started like gaining weight rapidly i was like okay it's definitely something going on so this OBGYN was actually super super helpful because she got me a lot of blood tests and i think that's something that you guys should definitely look into if you think that you have pcos is get those blood tests my OBGYN scheduled so so many blood tests for me i remember like going to the uh to the nurse to get my blood drawn and he was just like whoa like what what's going on with you like why do you why are you getting all this blood drawn i was just like i don't know i'm just trying to figure out like what's going on with my body um he was just like okay well that's a good thing you know that's a good thing oh so i got a lot of blood drawn and i was low on vitamin d um and a lot of people are just low on vitamin d and i had like a regular oh my gosh i can't remember uh i'll put it on the screen but I had like super, super high. So my OBGYN also scheduled me a ultrasound and um, basically we did an internal ultrasound and it wasn't my first time getting an ultrasound. I actually got an ultrasound like years prior when I was on the depo shot. And after I got off the depo shot, I just had like a massacre of a uh, period or whatever it was it was just like the most blood i ever seen in my life so they scheduled me an ultrasound and i do remember them saying that i had like cysts and stuff like that back then but i was like 23 and you know like that wasn't even like a concern of mine like it was like it's not you know it's not that big of a deal so i thought it wasn't that big of a deal so years later i had to revisit this same issue and i'm having the same issues with this ultrasound that i um had and it was just like okay well we're gonna say that you have pcos um you know most people are you know we we put them on birth control if they have pcos and i've been absolutely against birth control i didn't want to get on birth control so i did tell my OBGYN that i didn't want to get on birth control so um basically i just tried to do other natural alternatives to bring my period back and to balance my hormones. And that's kind of where you see me going on this health journey that I have on my page and on my Instagram and on my TikTok and stuff. I'm constantly talking about, you know, balancing hormones and getting um, your body in shape because if your hormones are out of whack, like basically it can cause a lot of issues. It can even cause like psych psychological issues. Um, you can start suffering from depression and stuff like that if your home hormones are out of whack. And that's something that I definitely did not want to deal with. So it's been a journey of like changing my diet and really just focusing on myself and focusing on how I'm going to get my body back in order. So here are some of the things that actually helped me in my PCOS journey. And I'm going to put like timestamps in this video and stuff because I know people are always saying, oh my God, you talk so much, get to the point, like what helped? <laughs> but the first thing I did was, like I said, I did that blood work done. So it said that I was low on vitamin D. So I went and purchased a vitamin D supplement um, and it was vitamin D3 specifically and vitamin K because they said your body um absorbs the vitamin d better if you take it with vitamin k so those are the two supplements that i started taking right off the bat i also started taking an androgen blocker i think that's how you pronounce it an androgen blocker um i got this off of amazon it wasn't like something that's prescribed or anything like that i literally it's just like a literally a natural supplement with different herbs and stuff in it that's supposed to help with that um so I will link it down below as well, but I think it helped a lot as far as like the excess hair I was wearing. Like my legs were super, super hairy. Like I would have to shave every single day and stuff like that. So I definitely think that that helped with that. 
I also purchased this tea from TikTok because I was doing my research on TikTok and it's crazy because I didn't even think that it would help me. But I was just like, you know, you can't, it doesn't hurt to try. Um, so that's what I did. I purchased this tea from TikTok and I will like link it down below as well. And first of all, the tea tastes amazing and it has all of these natural herbs and it was like, I don't know, 10,000. 20,000 plus reviews, testimonies of how uh, amazing this tea is and how this tea was able to help with people with PCOS and bring that period back and all that stuff. So I tried it and the month that I tried it, my period came within 28 days. So I was like, okay, this is, this is great because the month prior to that, I um, had went, uh, I had missed the period. So I had went a 60 day cycle. So I was very, very happy with that. And I do think the tea actually does, actually does. Work. Another thing that I started to incorporate it was to exercise um, less, not do like super, super intense let, uh, exercise. Like I was really big on cardio and stuff like that, um, weight training type of stuff. And they say people with PCOS should do less intense workouts, maybe like um, yoga or Pilates or just walk instead of run. And I started doing that and that's great because I hate working out anyway. <laughs> so I started doing that and I think that helped. But the most important thing that I think helped me was a diet change. I completely changed my diet and I went on a carnivore diet. And that's basically when you just like incorporate more protein into your diets. Because prior to this, I wasn't vegan or a vegetarian or anything like that. I still ate chicken, but it was like a long time since I ate like beef or hamburgers and stuff. So I started, I started back eating my beef and my hamburgers. And I think that really, really helped me as well. So overall, the carnivore diets, um, I think it's great and I think that you should figure out what your blood type is and have a diet based off of that because some people go vegan and they're not even supposed to go vegan I learned that as well because you know it's not good for their blood type so basically you're supposed to eat um, whatever whatever your blood type is you're supposed to have a diet based off of that so whatever it is your, whatever it is your blood type is look into um what they suggest is the best diet for that yeah guys those are my tips for having pcos it's definitely a journey and it's definitely a trial and error sort of thing but i hope that everybody who has it know that it does get better just keep working at it and find something that works for you and um don't give up but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video give me a huge thumbs up if you did if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever i post a new video and hit the bell so notifications come straight to your phone you can follow me on any of my social media at mariam j hampton at mh hair care and i will see you guys next time bye